Welcome everybody to another review. Today we are going to talk about the Mercurial Superfly 7 Elite FG. Actually, I don't know if it's still considered Mercurial or not, but I'm going to still call it that because that's just what I've always known it as. And today, um, as you can see, we got the FG stud pattern because they do have a SG Pro, which is basically more... Um, like the soft ground metal cleats that are the six stud versus the anti-clog the new anti-clog i guess you could say but this is today is the fg size 10 and a half and it's the one of the launch colorways um so let's open the box right away let's see what we get and this is the first time i'm going to see these in person and look at these these are beautiful i love this color i'm really Happy they went with this color as the um, launch way. It's just a nice blue. And then it even sparkles a little bit. I don't think the camera picks it up that well, but uh, as you can see, like right here. Um, but since I've, I mean, this is kind of tough for me to talk about um, just because I've done the review on the Vapor and they're pretty much the same shoe. Let me take out the string bag. Okay, yes, it is still Mercurio. And it's it's tough for me to talk about anything else different because it's pretty much the same shoe. Um, everything is the same. And I'm sorry if you can hear the background. There's like some bird or something outside. I hope you guys can't hear it. Um, but if you can, it's outside. There's nothing I can do about it. But I wanted to make this video anyway. So moving forward with that. So like I said before, um, it's not that different of a shoe. The only thing different is this little collar, um, which is very different um, to previous generations. Um, now it's it's more flimsy. Like it's not even really needed if you ask me. Um, so. To me, in my opinion, I feel they eventually they're either going to scrap the Superfly or maybe they I think they have to change it up because this is not cutting it. Um, you're paying extra just for this and this it's not even the same uh, collar anymore from what it used to be. Um, let's let's see. Let me let me go bring. Let me grab a, a old Superfly. What I'm talking about. Okay, so if you look at previous generations, this was the collar before. And then, of course, we know that Ronaldo wanted something shorter. So if you look at this, and this is a little bit tighter um, around your ankle, and it's higher up, obviously. And then we went to something last year's version, like this. And this year's version is even lower this is comparing the the six and the seven so back to back it's a little bit lower um i think the shape of the boot is a little different as well this looks believe it or not to me this looks a little bit more narrow even than last year's version so if you have a wide foot probably not the shoe for you same with the vapor so to me right here it looks a little bit narrow it could just be my eyes maybe the camera i don't know but this is just the the differences side by side of the shoes um but like i said everything is the same for this as the vapor so unless you really really need this collar for some reason um i think you should just stick with the vapor i don't see the reason why you should um buy this superfly and maybe we need to 
not purchase it just so Nike can, you know, you know, get their stuff together and, and actually change up the shoe. Because remember before, um, before the six and the Vapor 12, they were two different shoes up until recently. Now they're almost the same shoe. And all you're really paying for is the collar. Um, to me, that doesn't warrant the extra price tag on it. Um, they should either they should sell them the same price, or just this has to be the Superfly just needs to become a totally different shoe in my opinion, because I, I don't I really just don't think you need to pay extra just for that. It's the same exact shoe. You get the same feel. Everything is the same. Um, I don't know what you guys think. Um, leave a comment below if you think that they are different shoes if, if they should be a completely different line if they should have some sort of different technology because that's what you were paying for when the first uh superfly came out obviously it had different things it had um, carbon fiber it was it was just a different shoe and then coming forward you know with the fives you know you had the, the flying it on this shoe and not necessarily on the or sorry completely no sorry no flying it on the vapor so it was two different shoes and you had two different feels um soul plate was the same but other than that the upper was just totally different so it gave you a different sensation a different feel so you could choose okay i want to go with the fly knit super fly or i want to go with the synthetic um upper such as the vapor so right now i feel that's where nike is slacking and maybe it's us consumers fault for um you know we keep buying it obviously um and sometimes i feel like they need to take a hit in sales in order to make a change um i applaud what they did with the temple i like it that they vamped it up changed it you know made it more modern i feel like that's a thing if you take a look at the puma king platinum they have revamped that now it's a lighter leather it's it's pretty nice uh i'm thinking about purchasing that to give it a try um, but you know, I think the Superfly we definitely need something different from Nike, and maybe the way by doing that is maybe if it doesn't sell, which I mean, I don't know how much it costs them to make this shoe. Let's be honest, but it's it's a pretty good hefty price tag that you pay. Um, so either way, they'll probably still make money no matter what, and not really do anything about it, but. You know, I feel like if people complain enough, not even complain, but just voice their opinion, what they want. Look at how they put the swoosh back on the side when people did not approve of that. And they still have their, their little swoosh up here on the front. Maybe this is the whole reason why they did all this branding on the front was a big F you for people being mad about this. So it's like, you know what? You got a problem with that? Fine. We're going to put our logos all over and all and <laughs> all over the shoe it's a little bit off-white-esque like i said before um i guess staying with that theme um but as far as the shoe goes it's nothing different from the vapor so why would you buy a superfly when you can get it basically the same price for cheaper i guess it's all just matters on on the person and what you like but for me i don't think this warrants um the extra price tag that it comes with i would just stick with the vapor if i was going to purchase something at not a discount um even with the discount it's about a 15 dollar price difference for me from 165 to 150 for the vapor um let me see what else oh so as, as I talked about in my other video, how Nike released a whole bunch of different um, colorways or a few colorways already. Um, the limited edition, uh, special edition, whatever that Ronaldo had, the Asia one or China, whatever you want to call it. I don't remember exactly. Um, that one, he's not even wearing that anymore. He's just wearing this one. So that's another thing to look into. If you're about wearing what your player, your favorite player is wearing, um, don't always just grab that special edition. They put special edition and make a player wear it for a few games 
just for the hype to make people not want to feel left out and have to buy and want to buy therefore he wears it one game two games and he's already back to this one which is the launch colorway so just the same thing with he did with the um the ones that were with like the print this color the orange ones that were with like the print he wore that for like one champions league game and that was it so i'm telling you people it's not worth always jumping up to the newest thing do i feel like if you're in the market if you have this um the superfly six and you're looking to upgrade go ahead and upgrade but if you don't need to upgrade and your cleats are perfectly fine these will do just fine these are great boots i didn't think they could make these better apparently they have um but most of the pros anyway haven't even made the switch yet you see a lot of pros still you know playing in the the 12 and superfly um six so it's a big marketing thing if you have the money go ahead and do it but if you do not don't feel left out i mean you know that that whole saying of fomo fear of missing out is is a real thing and sometimes i get that i'm not going to lie i i feel pressured sometimes to to um buy the the newest edition or or something but at the same time i like wearing my older boots i like obviously i purchased them because i like the way they look or i i like the feel whatever you know so don't always give in to rushing out and buying a new thing wait for a colorway wait for them to go on sale somewhere you know give give it some time before you actually go ahead and upgrade that's just my opinion one of the things i've learned is only the pros are the ones that are upgrading all the time and like i said not even all of them really do so some of the pros still rock the old ones where i play my league my my rec league um there isn't people buying the newest boots there's a few guys that because they play you know a little bit semi-pro or professional or whatever that also come play in the rec league they will have new boots um but as far as the only one that's out there with the newest stuff that's that's me and you know at times i feel dumb for doing it because it doesn't make me a better player it doesn't make me a worse player don't get me wrong um i'm the same player whether i wear copa mundial it's tiempos whatever vapors it doesn't matter so and it doesn't matter if my boots are old or new it's it's maybe it's a it, it might help some people if it makes them feel a little more a little bit more confident or whatever but it, it's all mental and you don't need to upgrade um and like i said if you can just go stick with the vapor if you are going to upgrade just get the vapor it's you know you're just getting rid of this and you're getting the same shoe there's nothing different about it other than this and this doesn't it's not even the same anymore like i said this is a bit more it snaps back more tighter fit versus this one is look at look at this this is not even needed at all so if you're asking me if you're looking to get the superfly seven i would say no stick to the vapor or stick with what you got already so hopefully um you learn something about today maybe not about the shoe but about you know marketing and things like that and 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 keeping a budget keeping your wallet nice and fat <laughs> because that's what matters more than going out and picking up the newest latest greatest model that they want you to buy into so hopefully you enjoyed this video as always like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one peace